Hi everyone, welcome to A Ram's Life. I'm Grace and in today's video I'm going to be getting real about my college application process. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my other videos. A lot of times going into those videos I have a solid plan, an outline, a script, and I don't really have that today. I don't really know where I'm going to go with this video, but on the topic of a college application process I just wanted to sit down and be real and be candid and not have this be scripted. Because for me, my college application process was tough. It made me into the person that I am right now. It was more than just me trying to find a school, it was me trying to find myself. And originally I was gonna have this video be a list of my statistics and my numbers and, and how I got into the particular schools that I got into, but I don't really wanna do that. I remember when I would look at those YouTube videos of people listing off their statistics and their numbers and all that, it stressed me out. And I don't want to do that to you guys because every single case is different. I don't want to give anybody false hope and I especially don't want to discourage anyone for uh, applying anywhere. I think the biggest thing about this video and the biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from this is that it's not all about the numbers. I remember during my college application process, people people were like, oh no, it's not all about the numbers. And in my head I was like, yes it is. I have to have a good GPA. I have to have good grades. I have to have a good SAT score. And I was just so overwhelmed by the numbers and I didn't believe people when they told me that. What sets you apart as an individual when you are applying to these schools is your life outside of just that application. It's going to be your extracurriculars, it's going to be your personal essay, it's going to be there. You have so many opportunities to express who you are and to tell these schools that, that you want to go to them and that they should want you. It's not all about the grades. Now. I'm not saying that you should just fail school and not worry about it because obviously grades are important, but they're not the only thing. So don't, don't be discouraged. And like I said before, that's the main reason why I don't really want to talk about my numbers because I don't want to have someone watch this video and be like, oh, okay, well I can apply to this school based on her numbers and I can't apply to this school based on your numbers because that's, that's not what this is about. But I did want to sit down today and talk about my college application process because honestly, it was a bit of a mess. I don't know. I, I guess I hope that if you relate, you know that you're not alone. So for starters, I applied to 11 schools. I, I think first tip, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess you can apply to 11 schools if you want to, but I was applying to a lot of these schools. Honestly, half of them I didn't ever see myself going to. I just wanted validation from them. I applied to a lot of these top schools because I just wanted them to say yes. And the reason I did that is because around this time I was feeling very defeated. I was experiencing a lot of rejection. I had been feeling like everybody and everything was rejecting me that I just wanted these schools to say yes. And then they didn't, which made things a lot more frustrating and a lot more tough. And that's something that I would advise you guys to do. Don't just apply to schools because you want their validation, because you don't need their validation. You do not need any one school's validation. And that's something that I definitely struggled with because I was applying to the top film schools in America and I and I just wanted a reason to, to keep myself going and I put all of my self-worth into these schools. And, and then when they rejected me, I, I felt so lost. At the same time though, do not count yourself out. If you genuinely see yourself at some of these schools, apply. If you think money's a problem or the fact that it's out of state, whatever it is, just apply. If you can genuinely see yourself at that school, apply. Because there are, there are ways to go to schools if there are things that stand in the way. Personally, me as an out-of-state student, I wouldn't have been able to afford tuition, but I did pretty well in high school and I am lucky enough to have a merit scholarship that is renewed every year so long as I keep my grades up, but that made such a difference in my tuition and that's how I can afford to be here. So kind of find that balance between you don't need to apply just to get validation, but don't count yourself out at the same time. But anyway, for me, I applied to, I think it was 11 schools, if I can remember the ones that I I'm going to do my best to remember the ones that I applied to. University of Southern California, NYU, Columbia, George Mason University, Virginia Tech, Virginia Commonwealth University, their art school, 
And then I applied to five Colorado schools. So I applied to Colorado State University, the University of Northern Colorado, Western Colorado University, Johnson and Wales University. I'm forgetting one. I know that I, oh, um, CU Denver. So for the first six schools, that was my original list of schools. And I don't know. Sometimes looking back, I, I still don't understand why I made some of those decisions because I didn't see myself at any of the REACH schools and I also, I didn't think I was going to get in. And then the other schools, I just, I, I didn't tour any of them. I'd never even looked at them. I was just applying to the schools that everybody else was applying to, basically. And then I remember I was at work one day and I was talking to my best friend and she was like, Grace, why didn't you apply to any Colorado schools? And she was like, Grace, you've applied to out-of-state schools, why haven't you applied to any out there? And I think in that moment, that's when it clicked for me. So after my shift, I went home, I opened up my laptop, and at that point it was like the end of February, I think, and so l all of the deadlines had passed, basically, other than rolling admission. So I opened my laptop, I looked up um, Colorado schools with rolling admission, and I applied to all of them. Once again, I would not recommend that. I <laughs> I really don't know why I found the need to apply to all of them, but I think it was a bit of a, I guess I needed that almost. Like I, it was kind of liberating. I don't know if that was the word, but it just clicked for me in that moment. And I was just so excited by the fact that just for a moment after I had a, such a rough senior year and such a rough college application process that I had just a little bit of hope. And so I applied to all of those schools and I got into them and I toured them and I found CSU and well, you guys know the rest, I'm here and I love it. But that doesn't take away from the fact that to get here was really, really tough. I spent a lot of my senior year confused and sad. It's not my favorite thing in the world to talk about. Um, just know that it was rough. Um, but as rough as it was, I am so grateful for it because it's made me into the person that I am now. And that last minute decision that I made to apply to all of these schools got me here. It got me to this school in this room on this bed in front of this camera. So my college application process was definitely not conventional. It was tough for me to watch my friends kind of, they seemed like they had it together and I felt like my world was falling apart. But I guess the point of today's video was to let you guys know that you're not alone. Um, if you're someone who knows exactly where you want to go to and you found your school and you got in and you're going and you love it, awesome. But if you're someone like me where you don't know what you're doing at all and you're trying to figure it out along the way and, and maybe you're not having too great of a time, you are not alone. So don't be so hard on yourself. I know that this is a really tough time and if you don't get into the schools that you want to get into, it's going to be okay. Because guess what? I got rejected from so many of them. I got rejected from USC. I got waitlisted and then rejected at NYU. I got rejected at Columbia. I got rejected from VCU Arts. I got waitlisted and then rejected from Tech. If there's one thing that I've learned from all of this is that it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't not matter, but there are so many small things that I used to stress about and that I thought was gonna be the end of the world, but looking back, I don't even remember what some of those things were. I know that right now, if you are in your college application process and, you're, and you don't know what you're doing, trust me, you are not alone. And I promise you it's gonna be okay. In the end, even if it doesn't feel like that, people would tell me that and I wouldn't believe them, but I'm okay, I made it, and you guys will too. All right, that is about all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was kind of different from my other videos, but I feel like it was important to just genuinely sit down and talk instead of having talking points in a script or whatever, because this is an important topic and it's something that I feel like I have to be honest about. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to A Ram's Life if you haven't already. Down in the description box below, you're going to see a link to my last video, a link to my other YouTube channel, and a link to my Instagram. I've been getting messages from you guys on Instagram, which has been the coolest thing in the world. If you have any questions or anything you want to tell me about life or the college application process, do not hesitate to message me. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.